Hello and welcome to what should be our Drive Club review, except this is going to take a slightly different path. My name is James and to tell you why it's going to go down that path, I'm joined by Louise Blaine from Games Radar. Hello James. Hello. So why, Louise, are we having trouble reviewing Drive Club VR? Put simply, we're having trouble playing Drive Club VR because it makes everyone feel sick. And that doesn't mean everyone in the world will feel sick, but it does mean that everyone that we have encountered to play it and to ask to review it hasn't been able to play it for longer than say five or ten minutes because it makes them feel so uncomfortable that they get the sort of VR sweats and have to take the head self. Now this is a problem that's probably going to become more apparent as more games come out and more reviewers get their hands on yep. certain games. Drive Club is a funny one because some people can play it for you know up to about half an hour yep. but nearly well, I mean, actually everyone we've spoken to says it makes them feel uncomfortable in a way that the other games maybe don't. Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to feel uncomfortable in a game. You're spending an awful lot of money for a virtual reality headset and you do not want, you know, the, I mean, it is a full game, Drive Club, it's, it's not just an experience like any of the other ones. Drive Club VR is Drive Club in VR that's been fully optimised for you sitting in these vehicles. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to invest in that and sit down and go, I feel terrible. You, d you know, this is not the future of driving games if this is the only way it can go. And it is making a lot of people feel uncomfortable. And it's funny because you can you can adjust the view in the car. You yep. can adjust the height of the seat. Mm -hmm. You can adjust how far or back the steering wheel is. You can sit inside different cars. But none of that seems to make the problems go away. Uh, I think So I've played it a bit and... You can look around the car. Some cars make you feel in you know, like a weird way safer than others yep. because they're enclosed yep. and you're like some of the sports cars that are open topped. And there's also I think tracks that make a difference. Yep. Weirdly, the demo in the uh, the one you get with the headset was fine for everyone, right? Yep. Yeah, everyone played that and was quite happy. But somehow going into the full game it's obviously not a controlled thing anymore they've obviously picked probably not the most stable car but perhaps the terrain's really stable perhaps the handling's quite stable on it maybe it doesn't have them uh, i interviewed steve bristol who developed Battlezone, and they've made a big deal out of making sure that as little people feel sick as possible and the way they've done that is they've made a giant inside of tank mm. so what you were saying about feeling a bit safer actually gives you more of a environment that you feel secure in so you're, you, you feel like you're in a place, you don't just feel like you're whizzing by. Because the problem that makes most people VR sick is your brain is being told that you're moving, but your body is not moving. So your body's going, hold on, so your inner your balance is going off because it has no idea what to think. And that causes the, the disjointed and then the, the, the sweats and then inevitably the, the vomit can ensue. And it's, it's down to certain tracks as well in the yep. game seem to make it worse. Yep. I think one's with a lot of hills that go up and down hills will do it. make people feel a bit queasy. Well, again, that's supporting the fact that if you're going down, your body thinks you're going mm. down and you're not. So it it literally is probably everything that VR shouldn't do. Yeah, there's a few bits where you like camber around the corners as well, where you feel like you should be moving, like some inertia should be on you, but it doesn't happen. Yep. But you can see it happening with your eyes. Your eyes are yanked in that direction and you feel like you should have the physical slam and you don't. Yeah, but. so there's a lot of that. Uh, it's not just, you know, if you think, oh, I don't get car sick, it doesn't appear to it. be that either. No, it's the disjointed between. If you have a body, we haven't found anyone that has felt fine. That's the thing. I think th some experiences in VR, they focus on being static and that's absolutely fine. But the minute I played Scavenger's Odyssey and that made me spectacularly unwell because it used FPS controls. So your eyes don't work the same way as a joystick does, unsurprisingly. Mm -hmm. So... It just doesn't work. They just don't mesh together. Yeah, there'll be definitely some people who can play it. Absolutely. And you listening to this might be one of those people. Yes. But it's definitely something that you should bear in mind that, you know, this is one of those things that you probably need to experience. Test it. Definitely first, test it. But not the demo, because that's fine. No, that's fine. So basically, I think there's a lot of... Um, just now especially there's Sony's doing lots of tours around shopping mm. centres and things so if you are unsure and on the fence and all you want from PlayStation VR is a driving experience I would test there prior to that because it would be it would be a terrible shame but now you've touched on it a little bit but it's not just this game nope. that is is causing problems like this the VR sickness in general is a big issue that needs to be talked about it is a big deal it's something that something like I was saying about Scavenger's Odyssey 
looks beautiful. You know, you look down and you've got this alien body and it's all plugged in and you want to look at everything. But then the minute you're put in charge of the controls, your stomach just lurches, your eyes get pulled. Even something like Super Stardust VR, brilliant. You know, you're put into the arcade Mm. and you've got this planet in front of you. But there's this invasion mode that puts you in a 3D world and all of a sudden it's the same situation. You're just, you're moving in a direction, your eyes are going in multiple directions and your body isn't and it's the the contrast there is really bad and the the vr luge as well oh, messed yes. you a little bit it did it wasn't quite as bad as scavengers i did manage to get down a couple of hills mostly in the fact that i just wanted to get captured and to find out what it was about because that's also the thing that we're faced with we have to review these games to be able to tell you whether you know from a professional opinion whether we think you should play them and we're having problems with that and i think more people need to be quite honest about the fact that if you can, we, if you if you do feel sick, I think you have an obligation to tell people, and we do feel sick, and that's why we are telling you. Yeah, Drive Club is definitely something you can get through. Like yes. I've got through some races and stuff, but it's not a, a smooth experience, and it's one of those things you have to question because it exists as a standalone game on its own. Like, would you rather just play the standalone game than the VR version? At, at the moment, yes, because you know it looks nicer and it's great. It's a great driving game. But this, this version is causing problems right now. It's difficult. It might be able to fix it with a patch yeah, or I mean, something. Who knows? I mean, there's also the thing of people get sort of, they get used to virtual reality. So people that develop these games, apparently they don't even notice it anymore mm. because their eyes are used to it, their body's used to it. So the more we do VR gaming, the less we'll have the problem and the more they're going to tinker with what's on screen for us and how our eyes feel. So we're kind of in its infancy, this mass market is we're all kind of guinea pigs and what kind of gaming experiences work. So do we have any solutions to the sickness problem? I think there's no solution. You are either weak to this or not, but I think you can be selective about the type of virtual reality experiences you purchase. Um, something like Until Dawn, although it's on a literal roller coaster, I felt absolutely fine. You've got a set of guns, you can shoot at things and you're moving, so your, body, your, your mind's doing different things mm-hmm. and you're not being yanked in any direction. So pick your experiences try them you know try the demos except the drive club one which is fine and just find out find it out for yourself because we're all going to be very different on this okay thanks louise that's our drive club and other sickness stories from around the world of vr if you've got any questions put them in the comments below and for more gaming news reviews previews and features keep it here on games radar plus (laughs) 